What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute. I have a really fun video organized for you guys today. We're gonna check out a really sick car. I just wanna say, man, it's cooling down on here. I'm trying to feel good. Woo! It's like 60 degrees out here, 58, something like that. Let's get going. All right, what's up guys? I'm here, my homeboy Justin. We met, well, like a couple weeks ago? The, a couple weeks ago, I was, yeah. I was going up to North Dakota for like a work thing. And he was there and I was like, who's freaking 180SX out? It's outside and it's that's uh me. yeah <laughs> so everybody's like oh that's this guy over here so uh this is justin he actually has a youtube channel as well you want to plug the thing real quick justin c i'll put it right down, down here at the bottom so you can uh, uh make sure you go subscribe support him he's got a super super clean what year is it 95 95 nissan 180sx you have to see how clean this thing is let's check it out So right off the rip, man, you guys know, if you've been watching the channel, I'm a huge S chassis fan. The 180SX has been like one of my dream cars. I've had five Fastback 240s back in the day. Oh, one of them had a, an SR in it, like this bad boy does. But none of mine had the Type X kit, which is like what I always wanted to do. This is not a real Type X. However, it has all the goodies. Um, from my understanding, there's not much difference in the Type X and the regular uh, 180s. Well, first things first, we got Check out this custom color. We don't even know what the color code. It's super bright red, some gold flakes in it. It looks really clean. I mean, whoever did painted this job or painted this did a really good job. So you can see the uh, JDM Rotas. These are Shogun T37 knockoffs. Uh, he bought them off a friend that was selling them off his. Uh, you said R32 GTR. So they are 18 by nine and a half plus 12. Old GTR square setup. Super yep. aggressive for an 180SX. Yeah, so. yeah, <laughs> yeah, especially yeah, especially a, a 180. So it has, if you didn't notice, it has the Origin uh, plus 20 millimeter over fenders in the front, and then plus 20 millimeter over fenders in the rear. Looks like a 180SX Type X on steroids wing. <laughs> We're trying to figure out what this was. Uh, if you guys know in the comments what wing this is, please let us know. It's, it looks like the OEM Type X wing, but it's uh, like super aggressive. Uh, if you guys know what this is, please let us know. It is a 95, so we got the Koki tail lights. Looks so good, I always wanted some, but never never got the chance to get them on any of my cars. Because I was broke back then. Got the blast pipes. Sitting on Blitz coilovers. I saw some yeah, dampening, dampening features too. So what are they like, 32A or? I think they're 60. Oh, it they might be the 32-way, th yeah. He got a really good deal. They say the mainland uh, auto box always had a deal on Blitz, so everybody's rocking, rocking Blitz coil levers out there. Blitz. <laughs> and then uh, in the rear, full D-Max angle kit. So you got the, the uh, toe arms, camber arms, mm. and the, the trail arms, whoever they are. Okay. So all three in the rear. So it's, uh, it's got some a lot of suspension work done. <laughs> i got to give it to you. This car is super... Oh, my. I just noticed the black on the... On the mirrors is like... It's like a rainbow... Yeah, like a prism. Flare, yeah. That's crazy. Super cool. Um, but uh, let's see. You got Blitz coilovers. D-Max downpipe. We got a Blitz front mount. Uh, Blitz coilovers. Gretty boost controller. Um, D-Max front pipe. You know, just to get started. We'll uh, check out the interior. It had S15 seats in it. Um, we'll, we'll show you why in a second. It's really cool. But he converted it back to these 180SX... Uh, seats, huge fan favorite, uh, really expensive seats to get your hands on. The reason why the car had S15 seats is because, are you noticing anything different about the dash? 
yeah, that's a Sylvia S15 Dash in a 186. I've never seen that. That is super cool. I, I just love how they look. Super modern, white face gauges, round AC vents. Is all the AC and stuff work? Everything, Everything works? works? Oh man, that is so cool. The only different thing that doesn't work well is the uh, the tachometer oh. because of the difference in the six speed and the five speed. Oh yeah, yeah. The yeah. RPM range is slower with this one. Really? Yeah. So it's not accurate. It's, it's accurate, mm -hmm. but it takes like half a second longer to catch up to actually where you're. So you at. need to shift like 500 RPM before red line. Bit, then. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I, bet, I bet there's some sort of something you can get to fix that yep. resistor or something. But thankfully, I have the Yashio Factory V3 gauge, which beeps and tells me exactly when. Oh, it's perfect. Shifting. So it knows. It knows exactly. So EC when knows the ECU the, knows. Oh, the yep. speedometer doesn't. Okay. I love this uh, little roof wing here, the sunroof. Well, I guess te technically it's a pop-top moonroof. The rain visors. Really clean. And to tie it in with the other GTR, it has a set of R32 GTR brakes and rotors on it. Oh, does it? It does. So it's got the 300 millimeter, uh, I'm assuming non V spec, yeah. Non V spec. Uh, so it's got 300 millimeter rotors in the front. I think it's like something similar in the rear, 280, similar, right? yeah. 290, or something like that in the rear. Three like e brake cables and everything. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's freaking sweet. I just can't get over how these cars look so good together. They do. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I, I did a little reel. I was like, we gotta get this guy on the video. Bam, sure enough, he hit me up. He's like, yeah, let's do it. So here we are. Oh, I just love that 180 SX bumper. The Type X looks so clean. Let's pop the hood if you don't mind. Absolutely. So Under the hood, factory SR20 DET. You already know what it is. Uh, stock motor, but everything else is pure reliability and dress up. So it's super beautiful, super clean, and we love it. The first thing I wanna point out is the hood struts. That is so helpful. But like you said before, I mean, just stuff that's functionality and uh, also to make it a little bit better, you got the catch can here, a Mishimoto uh, radiator, overflow tank, there's a phase two, custom, he's got the HID conversion over there on top of the battery. Nismo strut bar, like. Spitfire coils. Oh, does it say Spitfire? Spit okay. Coils, yeah. yeah, that's, uh, I know. Oh, check out the headlights. Yo, that's sick. That looks awesome. We didn't even talk about the vent here on the headlight. I love the headlight vent yeah, for the intake. Vent, yeah. yeah, I love that. Man, if you guys have ever driven a 240 or a 180 uh, with the SR in it, you know, it has plenty of pep. This thing will get up and rip. It's, you know, it's only like 2,700 pounds, so that's all you need with like 300 horsepower. You turn the boost up a little bit, you'll be fine. I'm just gonna crank it up real fast. We'll get a, a clip of this exhaust, this blast pipes. I heard them coming, so it's. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty noisy. It's pretty aggressive, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the dual tip blast pipes. I think they get a little bit raspy up top. Yeah. Low end sounds great. Pops. I love how you can hear the T25 like spooling back down. Yeah, for a factory manifold and a stock S13 turbo, turbo noise of the exhaust is just crazy. I it love is. It. Yeah, you can tell. Oh, he's still on. I didn't even, I didn't even notice the rocking the Jadian plate still. He's still within his window of uh, having to get the uh, you know, register and tag. It's got insurance all that stuff, so it is legal. But uh, yeah, so that's why he's rocking the Jadian plates. But man, I think we uh, kind of want to go for a ride. Should be. Probably shouldn't leave my car here though. Where should probably, we move them? Probably shouldn't. You want to move? Where do you said you live close? I live like up 25 minutes away. About five minutes away? Do you mind if we just drop yeah, my car up there? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. So we're going to drop off my car. I don't want to leave it in this unknown, unknown parking lot. Uh, but it's going to be pretty cool watching these cars rolling together. So might try to get some shots. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Oh God, it looks so good. I can't wait. I haven't asked him yet. I hope I get to drive it. I have not asked him, so we'll see what he says. <laughs> Oh, it sounds 
good. All right, so good news. Just talked to Justin about this. I said, hey man, can I drive it? He's like, yeah, without a doubt. A Absolutely. lot of questions, let's do this. So we're gonna hop in. This will be the second 180SX I've ever driven. Uh, the one was that, uh, if you haven't seen that video, freaking super wild Rocket Bunny kit. I'll, I'll tag it. Actually, it's gonna be in the top right corner. So you'll see it. Uh, I can check that video out and then come finish this one or vice versa. Do something, I don't know. Watch both. They're both, they're both pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, so quick disclaimer. Uh -huh. It is a 27-year-old 180SX S chassis with some big ass wheels on it. Okay. So the alignment feels a little goofy. Oh, okay. Also tie rod in is a little Oh yeah, a little uh, a little non-existent. But okay. um PBM short shifter, five speed, oh, return, that feels nice. return kit. Yep, it's super nice, feels super great. So I mean see, yeah, this is sick, dude. They stole the oh, button. Really? So when it, when I shipped the car, they stole I don't know. Oh no! Did. They somebody stole something? They stole the actual horn button off of it. So I had a horn button. That is Doo doo, who does that kind of stuff, man? Know. And it's gonna, if we take G's, it's gonna adjust. Okay. So I'll do oh, my best to. Easy clutch. Oh, super easy clutch. Easy well, it should clutch. be a, it's, a, it's just a stock 180 clutch. And okay. It, it's holding up for the moment. Yeah, I <laughs> so. just, that's what I was doing actually. Whenever you, you pulled up, I was setting my boost back down to the factory. Okay. Because second gear starting to slip. So a video coming up soon, guys, will be a competition 500 or 600 foot pound torque clutch in the GTR. That'll be a fun video. Oh, yeah. Can't wait for to. sure. Can't wait to do it. Ooh, the suspension is nice and stiff. I like it. Yeah, I like how you, so new cars are great because they're new, but old, what they would call 90 shit boxes, which is not a shit box, it's really fucking clean. Uh, you can feel the road. You feel like you're in charge and command. It's not so much electrical stuff. Um, a lot of the, you know, newer Porsches and stuff had people complaining like, oh, it's just too automated for me. Like, it's like, I say anybody can get in a new 35 and put down like record times that, on a track, you get you have to have a real driver to have a, you know, an older car. See the G's all yeah, tilt. G's, yeah. It'll fix itself. But definitely not the easiest thing to film on is this little gimbal. But it's yeah, it's tough. Yeah, so it's, it's tough. I have a lot of practice. Right. But it's it's definitely tough. Like it, growing pains were horrendous oh, when I first yeah. started. Dang. So once we get yeah, once we get going, uh, which one of these is old bending smoother or is this one smoother? Uh, oh, this is all bending. This one. is all bending. I would say this, this way, way for sure, closer to the base. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that then. Sorry guys, my gimbal experience is not up to par, but we're gonna try our best. <laughs> you gonna post a little boosty boost? <laughs> got a little hop there. Yeah. Four thousand RPMs. <laughs> oh man! I forgot how fast this car felt in the passenger seat. Yeah, it was such a different feel than oh. like driving your own car. Like to me, I don't. I'm just like, you know, I'm saying now, yeah, enjoying the the feel. But yeah. dude, the suspension. So let's see here, the suspension is. Oh my god, it's, it wants to stick to the road. This thing handles nice. I really wish that Louisiana would. I don't know, make us a, a mountain or something, so we can have some mountain roads to go drive on because. It's all straight, all straight and flat here, unfortunately. But man, this car, yeah. I mean, for being a, like you said, 20, 27 years 27 old. Twenty-seven years old. It yeah. feels solid. Like there's no dead spots. Oh yeah, it feels great. I mean, the, once you get up to a speed, the tires uh, are a little unbalanced. And then yeah, it's, I mean, that happens. Then it's an S chassis. Yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> but for short speeds like canyon roads or mountain roads, it, oh, would be, yeah. it would be a blast. Super planted, super fun. Tires are super grippy. Yeah. Man. Thing. I love the. I just love the way the S15 cluster looks. In oh the yeah. 180. yeah. Turn turn a really old 180 into like a little more modern. Yeah. Right. It feels great and it looks great too. Oh man, this is super cool. And it being bright red, you should have seen. We had this old like I think it was a homeless guy. He was like <laughs> he looked like he was hammer drunk. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. He was like hammer drunk and he was like oh driving by <laughs> Louisiana thing. Yeah. He was super <laughs> confused. He didn't understand why you're on the side. Yeah. And I was I was behind him. I've never got more attention in a car than this car here. Yeah, it's, it's so, crazy. I mean, it's being bright red, it probably doesn't hurt. Plus, it's really clean. And, uh, and the right people probably are like, what so. are these? Like, what? Not everybody knows what 240 is oh, anymore. No. The whole younger generation, I mean, these things are like unobtainable nowadays. So Especially going, for the price. I know yeah. US chassis boys, if you know what the price these things are getting up to nowadays, it's, it's ridiculous. It's unbelievable. Straight up. It's ridiculous. But oh, there we go again. Oh, I know where we are. What's up, man? You got a thumbs up? <laughs> For the dude in the Accord, For I like it. the dude in the Accord. That's a Fiat. <laughs> Woo! Dude! God, the blast pipes. It just sounds so much different than the other SRs I've driven. Oh yeah, this is super unique. Yeah, it's definitely, it, it sounds different. Like, I, I drove my buddy's Robin S15 spec car. 
and obviously way different the way it sounds. That's such a refined car, though. The way oh, he yeah. built his, yeah, it's it's beautiful. He just sold it and really pissed me off. Thanks a lot, Robin, for ruining my day. That was my idea. Yeah, Robin. <laughs> Yeah, it's, I mean, it's crazy. The S14, you know, SR as well. But the difference between this car and that car sound-wise, night and day. You'd yeah, never know that they were the same motor. I wonder why. What is that? Is it the way the cams work or something? Or the valve? I have no idea. I have no idea. I do, I do notice the difference uh, in my SRs compared to or my SR that I had compared to, you know, notchbacks. <laughs> oh, man. That's the closest thing we have to a tunnel here. Louisiana is a little too little under, under, <laughs> underpasses. <laughs> oh man. Dude, it's just, it feels so good. I know there's a lot of work that's been done to the car, but it feels like it's mostly in factory form. Uh, the way it handles and it, it sits and the power the power on us. I mean, what are you what, how much how much are you running? I, I think look. I think there's I think it's about 15, I think max is 16 in like fourth gear. Jeez, it's kind of high for a T25, isn't it? I think this thing's going to blow up soon. Yeah, it's going to blow up soon. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the goal, right? Yeah, fair <laughs> enough, yeah. Maybe like a GT28 71R or something. I don't know, one of those old ball, ball bearing, great, uh, one of those old Garrett's, I guess. Yeah. So when I had my 240, that's what I was aiming for. And then I got, it got destroyed by some lady with the headlights off, hit me head on. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Oh, I almost geez. died. It was like, yeah, she crazy. was 60 miles an hour. That's crazy. Yeah, head on. It was insane. But yeah, I uh, had so many planes for that car. I'll put a picture of it right here on the screen. It, like, I was like just disgusted for months. I couldn't even like look at cars. I was so sad. I bought a Ford Taurus. Like, yeah, that's where I was in my life. Wow. Yeah, it was never been that low. No, it, it, was, it, was, it was rough. Wow. <laughs> it was maroon. It was that Ford Taurus had that weird round end. It had the round back window. Yeah. God, it was an ugly car. Gross. Yeah. Then I sold it when Disney World with the money. <laughs> I mean, big boy growing up in decisions, right? Yeah. So let's take it right here. Yeah, 16 pounds is a lot. I know I'm just leaving on low boost and just cruise around, but... I've had a big car this whole time. <laughs> Good thing we're turning. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think on my SR, my T25, I had it at 12. That's what they said was like the, the safe the safe limit. The safe limit was I mean, 12. you could read on a forum and they'd say 25 is safe. I, it, <laughs> hey, I guess it depends on... It just depends on who's blowing up what. Yeah, true. I can feel the eyes of people. They're jealousy. They're jealous. <laughs> oh man, they're so peppy. God, the car feels good. It is. I just didn't think I'd be able to come to Louisiana and drive JDM cars. Oh, neither did I. I didn't think I'd <laughs> see a single one. Yeah, there's a there's, there's a bunch. So Austin, uh, this guy Austin, Austin, if you're watching, hit me up, man. We need to make a video. He's got a wide body uh, R33 GTST. It's, he just finished it. The white one? Yeah. Rocket Bunny? Yeah. yeah. I saw so that he one just finished it. Oh, you yeah. saw it? I did see it. I haven't yeah. seen it out about yet. So, Austin, if you're watching, hit me up. We need to make a video ASAP. I got some time today. Hey, I got time tomorrow, actually, because we're off. So, uh, happy Columbus Day. If you guys watching, because this video will be released today. I know I've been taking like a month off, unintentionally. God, it sticks to the ground. Jesus. I mean, it feels so good. It feels great. I love it. It just... It wants, like, a lot of it, people build, you know, their, their chassis for drift and stuff. I feel like you really have to try to get this uh, rear to slide out. Oh, yeah, for sure. It feels really planted. <laughs> oh, every car should have a turbo. Every car. Every car. Jesus. Turbo of the world. <laughs> the smiles, smiles and smiles. I just, wow, oh, I love it so much. But, hey, man, that's going to wrap up the video. hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to go back to his house, probably chit-chat a little bit and film a cinematic, but I want to give Justin a huge shout-out. Go check out his channel. I'll Thanks, tag guys. his Instagram. Um, yeah, we'll do all that stuff. So check him out. Give him some support. He's got a beautiful car. He's got another build on the way. So that's going to wrap it up. Like, comment, as always. I'll see you next Thanks, time. Thanks, guys.